Hello Pisces, this week we have got our eclipses. It is a partial solar eclipse on Tuesday, new moon in Scorpio, and then two weeks later we've got our Taurus full moon, it's a lunar eclipse. So these two kind of go hand in hand, they are our two eclipses uh, of the last part of the year, and they actually represent a part of a greater pattern that we've been experiencing for the past year, where We've had a lot of these eclipses in Taurus and Scorpio, and they represent a very deep transformation that we've been going through, uh, where, you know, kind of old aspects of yourself are almost like dying so that new versions of you can be reborn. And so probably over the last year, you've experienced a lot of challenges, a lot of change, um, a lot of new stuff where you're entering like, you know, new areas of life that maybe you never thought were possible. And you're expanding your limits of what is possible for you and saying to yourself, actually, no, I can do that. I can have that. And so this is a really empowering time for you to acknowledge how far you've come with this and to acknowledge how you are expanding in your mindset of what is possible for you. So let's see your cards. Okie doke. So we've got the High Priestess and the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is really about consistency. He is very patient. He might be slow, but he's very steady. So this is saying like, you know, you have been sh absolutely shooting forwards and progressing in so many ways recently. Just try to keep a consistent speed going. Don't burn out. Don't allow yourself to like rush forwards um, and, you know, uh, not have that kind of like steadiness that you need to feel grounded and to, to keep moving and not burn out. So with the High Priestess there, it's really suggesting that you tap into your feminine energy at this uh, eclipse, uh, which means to allow yourself to receive, to allow yourself to soften, to allow yourself to slow down, and to allow yourself maybe to get into the body and to be a little bit more earthy and to maybe even practice some sort of like magic or spiritual action, tarot, yoga, meditation, some sort of guided meditation, something like that will really help to ground you into the energy of this eclipse. So guys, drop me a comment below if it resonated. How are you feeling at the beginning of eclipse season? And obviously if you want a reading, there are links below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week.